Welcome to Flying Dirty. I'm Raul, private pilot and entrepreneur based out of Centennial, Colorado. Come on board with me, my family, and friends on our flight adventures across the nation. The best couple with the uh, dyne on it is going to be your Avidyne. Avidyne. Which is a slide in for the 430. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. So look into that. All right, welcome everybody to another episode of Flying Dirty. This time uh, we're going to be taking off from Meridian, Mississippi, and we're heading to Ocala, Florida, Airport X-Ray 35. And that will be our final destination, and we're, we're going to get our avionics done. So, the panel right now looks like this, okay? And when we get this done, uh, it's going to be a total makeover. This panel is going to be configured and it's going to look different and uh, all of these uh, steam gauges are going away and will be replaced with new uh, digital displays. So everything here will pretty much be cleared. We're moving the transponder over here, we're getting rid of this, getting rid of the old autopilot and we're going to be putting a new autopilot in here which will uh, will be pretty cool because it will be able to uh, control altitude, follow flight plans and things of that nature, which right now this is only a wing leveler. Uh, I have to maintain my own altitude and all that good stuff. So when this plane is done, it's going to look totally different. We'll show you that on the next episode when we uh, uh, come back to Florida to pick the airplane up. But anyway, we're looking forward to that. So let's get the show on the road. Key tower information, Oscar, 1158 Zulu, wind information from center of airfield, wind 020 at 4, visibility 10, sky clear, temperature 18, 2.15, altimeter 3016, pressure altitude 80, expect the visual approach, runway 1 and 4, raise crane 3 quarter nautical miles north of Keyfield at 75 feet AGL, hazardous weather information from Mississippi and Alabama, available on flight service frequency, advise on initial contact, you have Oscar. All right, we have information, Key tower information Oscar. Oscar. I got an email and it confirmed that the flight plan will be as filed. So that's what I will be expecting when I call in for my clearance. Now, when I come back to pick the airplane up, uh, I may do a flight over to the Miami area. This is a beautiful place to fly around. Uh, a lot of traffic, however, with, this, with all the stuff going on with the pandemic and all that, there's not a lot of flying activity lately, so there you go. All right, let's call uh, ground, get our clearance, and get ready for departure. Good morning, Key uh, Ground, Saratoga 3620 Whiskey at uh, the aviation ramp, uh, ready to pick up IFR to X-Ray 35. Number 3620 Whiskey Key Ground, cleared to X-Ray 35, as followed on departure, fly runway heading, maintain 5,000, expect 7,000, one zero minutes after departure, departure frequency 125.9 or 7, squawk 1644. Saratoga 3620 Whiskey is cleared to X-ray 35 as filed on departure, uh, maintain runway heading, climb to 5,000. Uh, expect 7,010 minutes after, frequency 125.9 or 7, and squad 1644. And Saratoga 20 Whiskey, read back correct. And November 3620 Whiskey is ready for taxi. Number 3026 Whiskey, runway 4, taxi via Bravo, and uh, on departure, amendment to your clearance on departure, you can disregard the runway heading, just maintain 5,000. Pray that uh, we'll go ahead and taxi to runway 4 on Bravo, and on departure, uh, maintain 5,000, 3620 Whiskey. Good morning, Meridian Tower, Saratoga 3620 Whiskey at Bravo 2, runway 4, ready for departure. Saratoga 3620 Whiskey, key tower, runway 4, line up and wait. 4, line up and wait for 3620 Whiskey. Saratoga 20 Whiskey on departure, fly runway heading. Runway 4, wind calm, clear for takeoff. Runway heading, runway 4, clear for takeoff, 3620 Whiskey. All right, wind is calm. Here we go, slowly advance, throttle.
Pacific Meridian. That's the airport we just took off from and the town of Meridian. It's a very cool town. I like coming here for my stopover. All right, so here we are checking back in. I'm sorry, this is that last call. Been a very, very nice flight. Very smooth and here we are catching hey, some five one five Bravo Charlie, is that correct? It five might get a little bumpy Bravo inside these clouds. Charlie, Roger, I think someone may have given you the wrong frequency. Stand by one. I got five one five Bravo Charlie. There we go. We get to catch some clouds. On one two seven point five seven. How about that? And that's it. <laughs> that was it. Two 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 fifty two. Go ahead, sir. Like we got a little more up in the distance, though. Two fifty two. Uh, Roger that. We'll show a cancellation. We'll, Thank uh, you so much. Have a great day. We'll go ahead and uh, here. Let me show you some views here. Here's the view from the right wing. Very nice. It's very humid down there. And here's the view from the left wing. Got some more clouds there right off our wing. And Jack, 078 Papa Golf is level 9000. Very nice. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. I like it. Traffic VFR just up to about 500 feet beneath the northwest. Alright, 38 minutes left till we get to our destination. Uh, six minutes left. Change the fuel tank. All right. So here we are. We're approaching Cross City. Cross City VOR, and then there's the town of Cross City there. And that's where we're going. X-ray 35. Getting pretty close to our destination. Showing 36 minutes remaining. Here we are in Marion County. I'm gonna ask these guys where Saint Aviation is located at. So from what I was told, I think that uh, Saint Aviation is actually the first building that we passed way over there, the iTech building. I don't even know if you can see it through the camera, but that iTech building, that's the one we need to go to. So we're gonna crank this baby up and we're gonna take it back over there. So I'm here talking with Bo, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> Has uh, Jesse talked to you about what he's going to do with mine? Yeah, I think we're doing a Dynon Skyview HTX system all the way, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, anything else that you recommend? Uh, I, I got, what navigator are you getting? Yes, so I've got a 430W, but I'm, okay. not, I'm not getting anything. You know, not now yeah. anyway. Okay. Yeah, that's the, the best couple with the uh, Dynon is going to be your Avidyne navigator, Avidyne. which is a slide in for the 430. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, so look into that. So that's an Avidyne um, 
540, uh -huh. which is a slide in for the Garmin uh, 530. Okay. Um, so the 440 is just like it just uh, it's, it's a, a smaller version, right? Yes, sir. Okay. And you're getting the autopilot too, right? I the am. Track. That's right there in the car. Oh, there it is. Look at left. that. So there's the true track right there. And the, the synthetic vision. You know, I did my IFR check ride in a Dynon system just like this. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, zero visibility takeoff is just. How you're, bad. You can see the center line. You're on the center line of the runway, just right. looking there. So you know, head down the whole way. Wow, uh, incredible. So with with this system, uh, as far as because I'm also gonna get the. Uh, engine monitoring mm -hmm. um, as far as this system with the engine monitoring it, it's pretty pretty darn remarkable isn't it it's amazing yeah so you'll see all your CHTs and EGTs here these are your CHT numbers uh -huh. and then your EGTs here and they show up in the form of bars that come up so you can visually see which ones are hotter and and colder as well as have the numbers there and then right here where those dashes are you'll see your percent power your rich of peak lean of peak so it has leaning assist on it, you know, so it helps you to uh, lean the engine properly. And then your fuel computer, your your main flow there, um, mm -hmm. that's that's usually within a gallon um, off of full tanks. So, oh, wow. So that's extremely accurate. Fuel flow is just uh -huh. a block that says how much fuel flowed uh -huh. through the uh, into the engine. Gotcha. That's the most accurate way to calculate your fuel. Okay. Um, and of course you got sending units which will hook up as well and mm -hmm. that'll be in the form of fuel levels you see it over on the left gotcha. um, and that that's only as accurate as your as your sending units you right. can get new sending units that are more accurate right um, but as a general rule those work really well okay so all right there you have it we made it to Saint Aviation in Florida for my new panel upgrade and as you can imagine I am filled with excitement and anticipation if you like these videos, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up so that I can continue making more videos like this. And if you have any ideas on what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future, then just drop me a comment and I'll try to make it happen. You all stay safe and have a great day.